What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So go back like four weeks, man. I don't even know who Quentin Tarantino is really fast forward a month. I'm actually becoming a really big fan, man. I've liked everything I've seen so far from Reservoir Dogs to Jackie Brown. Uh, guys, check out the playlist, man. I'm gonna link it somewhere up here. But today we're <laughs> checking out Kill Bill Volume 1. I don't know anything about this movie. What about you? I do know it came out in 2003 and there's a second one, but other than that, I don't know anything. Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction's in it. Oh, she in it? Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, so yeah, we're getting familiar with the same cast of characters, which I really like, man. I like how he sort of has his core of people and he sticks to it. So I like that loyalty from Tarantino. And I just think his movies are super, super unique, man. If you yeah. are new to the channel because you're watching like Stranger Things or Game of Thrones or something like that that we've done, definitely check out this Tarantino playlist, man, if you haven't seen his movies because they're crazy on the low, bro. So, uh, and we're only in the older ones, so I can imagine like how he's progressing. Is he still making them? Um, Not to this day, right? I don't think he, I don't know. Comment below. Yeah, because he, I don't know how old he was then, but he looked a little on the older side, but he could be really old at this point. Right. He's been making know. these movies 20, 30 years ago. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut uncensored version of these movies you know tarantino likes to make his movies a little spicy you know what i'm saying so if you want all the peppers man go over to patreon and uh yeah you can get all the uncut over there so let's go let's go <laughs> <laughs> kill bill volume one shawl scope <laughs> pretty unique right yeah, never heard of that one. Let me know in the comments, man. How many times have you seen Kill Bill? And is this your favorite movie of all time? Let me know. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served cold. Old Kingdom proverb. Oh, Klingon proverb. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Hey, that's the girl from Pulp Fiction, right? Yeah, Mia. Do you find me sadistic? Bill. Oh, that's Bill. I, I could fry an egg on your head right now if I wanted to. No, kiddo. I'd like to believe you're aware enough, even now, to know that there's nothing sadistic in my actions. Well, maybe towards those other jokers, but not you. That was... No, kiddo. Guys, man, I'm so sorry to ruin a perfect moment, but to me, that was the coldest Tarantino moment, bro. He did all that dialogue, cleaning her face just to get yeah. to the very end and touch her. Yeah. That was tough, brother. Bring it back. <laughs> not you. This moment, this is me and my most masochistic. <laughs> <laughs> it's your baby. <laughs> What? Bro, he pulled the revolver out on her. Do you think he'll make a cameo in this one? I, was five I hope so. He was six. We rode on horses made of sticks. Bang, bang. He shot me down. Bang, bang. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> bang, bang. The Deadly Viper Assassination Squad. What? Seasons came and changed the time. Lucy Lou, maybe. Yeah, I know about Lucy Lou. Charlie's Angels. I don't know Charlie or Lucy Lou. <laughs> I shot you down, bang, bang. I used to shoot you down. Mm. Well, that what is the song? <laughs> oh. <laughs> this feels like watching like a super edgy Western, don't it? Yeah. Is like it, one that's ahead of his time or something? It's not going to be in black and white because she's yellow in the front. Hey, even if it is, is this her dying song? Is she singing this as she's dying? Maybe when she's like an outside entity, she's just singing this to her <laughs> yeah. dead body. Or to his dead body. Whew. Chapter one. Two. Two. Circled. Yeah, he likes these little chapters, these little... Mm -hmm. Because his movies are as deep and complex as like reading a book. Because in books, that's when you really get to know the characters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Movies are rushed. Oh, that's cool. I like that grass. That's a that cute tree. Nice. Oh man, dang! Oh. Whoa! So this lady like hurt her before? <laughs> it looks like it. She can fight too, though. 
Tap out. Rear naked choke. <gasps> no. Man, you should have checked to see if she had a fireplace. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. This is insane, dude. <laughs> this is said. stressful. <laughs> that was a swipe sound effect I use in my videos. <laughs> I don't like this knife stuff. Uh-uh. No. The school bus. She's got some kids. Obviously, because there's toys in the front. No. You can't do it in front of them. Baby, <laughs> how was school? We're just bloody for no reason. Can I put to you on the TV room? That good for nothing dog of yours? Got his little ass in the living room and acted a damn fool. That's what <laughs> happened, baby. Now, you can't come in here. There's broken glass everywhere and you could cut yourself. This is an old friend of mommy's I ain't seen in a long time. Hi, honey. I'm Mr. Seeds. She's who? Why they beep it? Her name is Nikki. Such a pretty name for such a pretty girl. Um, just leave, just leave. Right, Nikki. It's just your question. What? I'm four. four. Four years old, eh? I had a little girl once. She'd be about four now. Mm. Me and mommy's friend got some grown-up talk to talk about. So you can go in your room now, and I want you to leave us alone till I tell you to come out. Nakia! In your room. Now. Oh. That was some gangster stuff, though, how they put them knives up. Mm-hmm. You want some coffee? <laughs> yeah. Oh. That was cold, man. That was a good I was not expecting moment. that. This Pasadena homemaker's name is Jeannie Bell. Her husband is Dr. Lawrence Bell. But back when we were acquainted four years ago, her name was Vernita Green. Her code name was Copperhead. So she's Mine, part of that game. Oh, she's Black a spy. Mamba. Oh, she was Kobe. <laughs> so I suppose it's a little late for an apology, huh? You suppose correctly. <laughs> Look, bitch. I need to know if you're going to start any more shit around my baby girl. I'm not going to murder you in front of your child, okay? That's being more rational than Bill led me to believe you were capable of. It's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack, not rationality. Hmm. So this is tense. Well, she got shot and left her dead, right? I fucked you over bad. I wish to God I hadn't, but I did. You have every right to want to get even. To get even? Even, Stephen? <laughs> <laughs> I would have to It's like me. You. Like, she just had to add that part. Go to Nikki's room, kill her. Then wait for your husband, the good Dr. Bell, to come home and kill him. Mm. That would be even, Bernita. That'd be about square. Oh, Look, if I could go she back did that and she did that yeah. yeah. But I can't. But she did rectangle AF. All I can tell you is that I'm a different person now. I know I don't deserve your mercy or your forgiveness. I beseech you for both on behalf of my daughter. Just because I have no wish to murder you before the eyes of your daughter does not mean that parading her around in front of me is going to inspire sympathy. You and I have unfinished business. And not a goddamn f thing you've done in the subsequent four years, including getting knocked up, is going to change that. Man, she's cold, ain't yeah. she? Yeah. When do you want to die? The day after tomorrow? How about tonight, bitch? Splendid. <laughs> Where? <laughs> There's a baseball diamond where I coach our little league about a mile from here. We meet there around 2.30 in the morning, dressed all in black. And we have us a knife fight. <laughs> what? We won't be bothered. I have to fix Nikki's cereal. So they're going to go to a baseball diamond and have a fight? A knife fight? That's so she could die? <laughs> That's crazy. Bill always said you were one of the best ladies he ever saw with an edge weapon. I know he didn't qualify this. So you can just kiss my motherfucker. Like Mamba. <laughs> I should have been motherfucker like Mamba. <laughs> Weapon of choice? Hey, if you want to stick with your butcher knife, that's fine with me. Very funny! Whoa. Oh no. Oh! Kaboom! That's funny that it was called that. <laughs> I didn't even realize. She missed that shot terribly. Good throw though. You gotta get off the kaboom cereal to make it happen. Yeah, she should have had some damn lucky charms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Dang. That's sad, man. Now the little girl heard that. Hey, live by the blade, die by the blade, right? I mean, she shot Aww. So the cycle continues. Right. Now she's going to be after her. Right. It's not my intention to do this in front of you. For that, I'm sorry. But you can take my word for it. Your mother had it coming. When you grow up, if you still feel raw about it, I'll be waiting. So that was volume two. Damn. She said, I'll be waiting. That's crazy. That's her car. <laughs> she said, if you feel raw about it, I'll be waiting. <laughs> That's crazy. So, what? Deathless 5. Oh, she's like Arya. She got a hit list. Yeah. <laughs> so she wants everyone that was involved in like shooting her. Yeah. Remember, she knew the guy. She saw people standing over her. Yeah. Well <laughs> <laughs> I need to get that. You're riding around town in that. What do you think? I think we would get pulled over. <laughs> the cops wouldn't take too kind to that around here with a the blood splattered ride. Oh, that's the beginning. She Four had like a veil behind earlier. her. El Paso. A veil, like a wedding? Uh, it looked like it. <laughs> Come on, baby. I love when this this is like no country for old men, Sheriff. Yeah, it is. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> All the glasses. How do they not move? I don't know. Oh, these are the Velcro strip lace aviators right here. <laughs> Stick to your dashboard. No mountain dust. Get these things. Give me the gore details. Sign number one. It's a goddamn massacre, Pop. They wiped out the whole wedding party execution style. Mm. Nine dead bodies. Bride. Groom. Reverend. Oh my God. That's gosh. crazy. Reverend's wife. Hell, they didn't shot that old color fellow that plays the organ. Man. Good gravy, Marie. I like that one. That's a lot of shots. I got that Nicaraguan death squad. Can that grass me, boy? You in the house of mercy. Sorry, Pop. Well, it's definitely working professionals. I'm guessing mate. Mexican mafia hit squad. Four, maybe five strong. How can you tell? Well, sure, instead of hand did this. It's the work of a salty dog. <laughs> a salty dog. Not the salty dog. Her eye flitched. Who's the bride? Don't know. The name on the marriage certificate is Arlene Machiavelli. Arlene? That's a fake. Oh. <laughs> he didn't tell her she was pregnant. Man, had to be a mad dog. She'd a goddamn good looking guy like that in the head. Hay colored hair, big eyes. Are you trying to fornicate with her or investigate her? Blood spattered yeah, like... angel. Chill, bro. <gasps> Ugh. So, number one, it's a tall drink of Sucker ain't dead. <laughs> Son number one. <laughs> that was a unique name right there. So when they call him Pop, that's really their dad. I thought it was just like what you called the sheriff in town. It's Pop. <laughs> this hey, that song yeah. on American Horror Story. Which American Horror Story? The first one. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I just remember the song. I've heard it before. Mm-hmm. Wow, so people were like, that's the Kill Bill song when they heard it. Not me. I kind of like it. It's fire. I feel like I'm watching history right now. I'm tired of watching this girl. History. Is she about to get injected again? This is the second time we've seen her. Looks like someone coming to finish her off to me. Mm -mm. L Driver. The Delhi Viper Assassination Squad. California Mountain what? Snake. Okay. Was it? Probably so. Yeah. Just here to kill you. I might never have liked you. <laughs> That shouldn't suggest that I don't respect you. Dying in our sleep is a luxury that our kind is rarely afforded. Maybe that's some snake venom or something. Right. That's why she's called the snake. Right. She's the poison giver. 
Because obviously they're like a squad, right? Oh, I thought that was the machine. Hello, Bill. <laughs> that phone. What's her condition? Comatose. Where is she? I'm standing over her right now. That's my girl. L, you're going to abort the mission. <laughs> we owe her better than that. Oh, you don't owe her s***. <laughs> Will you keep your voice down? You all beat the hell out of that woman, but you didn't kill her. And I put a bullet in her head, but her heart just kept on beating. Oh, right. dang. Maybe it's a sign. You saw that yourself. With you. We've done a lot of things to this lady. And if she ever wakes up, we'll do a whole lot more. But one thing we won't do is sneak into her room in the night like a filthy rat. Yeah, he's about that honor. You can tell because he has a katana. The reason <laughs> we won't do that thing is because that thing would lower us. Hmm. Mm. I guess. Do you really have to guess? No, I don't really have to guess. I know. Come on home, honey. Hopefully we just never know what he looks like. It's like is that 69 Tarantino just being immature down there? There's a 69 on that machine. Look. I love you too. Sorry to interrupt you. No, it's okay. So this guy's like macking all these girls, huh? He runs like a girl spy ring or something. Word of advice. Wake up. Maybe we ought to go see her next. Right. Ew. Mm. Why did it sound like a straw too? It was like. Yeah. <laughs> it's those Tarantino sound effects. Ew. Ew. Ah! <gasps> That's what woke her up. Welcome back to the land of the living. Nice acoustic. Bill, it's your mission. Oh, so that baby was hers? Mm -hmm. Was Bill's? That's what I'm saying. He's macking all of them. Dang. <gasps> oh. Dang. <laughs> oh. And I feel horrible for her, but was she part of that gang? She might have had it coming. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel bad because her baby's not there. <laughs> My baby. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> Dang, she read it in her palms? There's no way. Mm-mm. <laughs> That whistling? Man, she better go back to sleep. She can control her heart rate, so she's a full-blown trained assassin, huh? Price is seventy-five dollars, my friend. Oh my gosh! Uh-uh. Oh, yeah, uh -uh. That's so gross, bro. Like I'm aware of things like this, but Jesus. Nurses are yeah. doing that. And here's a rule. Yeah, people mm. do stuff like that. Rule number one. Oh my god. Punch and by the way, this little c spitter. It's a motor reflex thing. And rule number two, no monkey bites, no hickeys. In fact, no leaving, no marching, no doing that her, She's been in there After for four that, years. It's yeah, all like, good, uh, buddy. Uh, I heard plumbing down there don't work no more, so feel free to c*** her all you want. Keep the noise down, try not to make a mess. I'll be back in 20. Oh, my God. This chick's cooch can get dry in a bucket of sand. If she dry, just lube up with this and you would be good to go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to throw up. I want to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... <laughs> And I want to smack him. I hope that's she just straight wrong. mutilates this dude. That is disgusting. I should be mad at Tarantino for putting this in the movie. But ugh. Oh god damn, you were the best looking girl I've had today. He's had today? <laughs> she bit him. Ooh. Yeah, that's what you get. Dang, God, just go beat one out in the bushes like everybody else. You weirdo. <laughs> Is she having to like relearn to walk and stuff? Yeah, here comes Whistling Willie over here. Look, he's got his cross out and everything. He's like, Yo, stuck. Time's up, honey. <laughs> he's so confident. This music is so stressful. It's over for you, bro. Oh, the Achilles tendon? Mm -hmm. Oh, bro. 
I used to be scared that someone's gonna do that. Me getting out of bed. Uh, yeah, me too. Me too. For some reason, no one ever did it. I but. would just picture Chucky's Where's little Bill? ass under there. And just. <laughs> Where's Bill? Please stop hitting me. Where's King Bill? Bill? I don't know who Bill is. Bill. Ah! Buck. Buck. Fuck. Sorry for cussing. <laughs> My name is Buck, and I'm here to. <laughs> I'm gonna use that line. I'm just kidding. I can't. I can't. And you came here to. Oh. Right. I'm scared of his head. Ah! Eek. Well, she put the hips in that one. Eek, eek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put those on. Why'd they bleep out her name and they called her Jane Doe, too? I'm sitting here. Oh, that's oh my god, that was his there car. There is no way. <laughs> so it was like a troll. She, she rides it. Her, her I thought she was doing it because she was like some feminism. <laughs> nah, is that what feminism is? I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know how some women are yeah. like, we can just say the p word when we want, yeah. all that. I thought it was like that. There is no way. She's, she's making that look easy. It's not that easy. <laughs> the origin of the car. <laughs> Man, you better clean those seats. And she looked. <laughs> That's the first thing she did. She looked at the seats. <laughs> She's like, I don't know about these. It's the quagmire mobile right there. <laughs> Giggity. This makes in the cab, honey. <laughs> we got the name tag. It says book. I was wondering if she's gonna try to slice people. Why would she have such a like car that's uh, identifiable? But she had no choice. Oh, you got <laughs> some toe shots from Tarantino. The good old pee wagon. <laughs> mm. Wiggle your big toe. Yeah. Well, she's got them gardener toes, boy. Let's throw some carrots out with those. You know how I can pinch you with mine? Yeah, you got She would be, like, saying. super good at it. She got them toes you can snap with. Wiggle your big toe. Right. See, I can almost... You got them band director toes. <laughs> As I lay in the back of Buck's truck, trying to will my limbs out of entropy, I could see the faces of the who did this to me. And the Ooh. responsible. Members all of the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad. Oh, one down. Oren Ishii was the easiest to find. Oren Ishii. Oren Ishii. Member of Deadly Viper Assassination Squad. Codename, Cottonmouth. Oh, in the beginning, she already killed that one. It was crossed out. Bro, I think snakes are cool too, so I'm really digging this movie. Oh, Oren I thought it meant like when you have a dry mouth. On an American military base Man, in Tokyo, it's Japan. It's all snake related. You oh. know, Cottonmouth? I didn't know there was a cotton mouse snake. Made her first acquaintance with death at the age of nine. It was at that age she witnessed the death of her parents at the hands of Japan's most ruthless Yakuza boss, Boss Matsumoto. How'd this go anime? This is sick, man. They all fight the same, huh? Just knife it up. I don't want people against walls like that. Breaking glass. <laughs> Man, so she had a hard come up too, huh? Yeah, she did. I was not expecting this. Mm. That was... Bill? Yeah, because it was the same ring, right? Well, he had a green ring now, but... Oh, yeah, that's someone different. Maybe he evolved, though. I guess this is just a crime boss like when she was a little girl from where she's from. Oh. 
She's gonna see blood run down an HE. Mmm. Mmm. Even worse. It's gonna bleed on her. <laughs> A real gunslinger. I mean, damn, what do you even say about that? And how's she gonna get out of there? Dang. She swore revenge. Luckily for her, boss Matsumoto was a file. <laughs> At 11, she got her revenge. Oh, man. Oh. She infiltrated, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what you get, you freaking weirdo. Mm. What in the world? I know. What happened? Oh, she just nicked an artery, that's all. So she just got so good at the job that she had to join some type of assassination squad, huh? Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, she disappeared. Uh oh. Got to peek out. The last thing you saw, brother. Oh. Mm. She said, Why y'all defending By this man? 20, she was one of the top female assassins in the world. She looks like Daredevil and Deadpool. Uh oh. With a sniper? <laughs> I kind of like the way they're portraying this. It's interesting. Easy work. <laughs> At 25, she did her part in the killing of nine innocent people, including my unborn daughter, in a small wedding chapel in El Paso, Texas. Dang. She made one big mistake. She should have killed ten. Ooh. First things first. Wiggle. Your oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. That was cold, brother. This That's is crazy. one of the craziest movies I've ever seen. Yeah, it's really... Is this the best know, movie we've seen so far from Tarantino? Yeah, I'm loving this. <laughs> Let's get these other piggies wiggling. Oink, oink. <laughs> 13 hours later. Oh, she's going to be doing squats by this point. Yeah, she's going to be doing flips. She had to tell herself that whole story. Just like <laughs> that toe moving. I forgot. That was crazy how I did that. This is fun, man. Now back to the pee wagon. <laughs> chicka, chicka. <laughs> Not the flames. Not the flames. That was like Guy Fieri's. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome, but he's cringe. <laughs> Okinawa. But you love him for cringe. He's on the high end of good cringe. My mom lived in Okinawa for a couple of years. That's she cool. moved there. That's You're really right. cool. But you know that. I know. You're acting like I just told you that. But it's still really cool. <laughs> I just want everyone to know it's cool. Oh, here's that song. Bang, bang. You know what you're fan. <laughs> Look at her shirt. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> you English? American. America. Welcome, America. <laughs> Domo. You said Dom. Can you speak Japanese? No, no, just a few words I learned since yesterday. I hope this guy's nice and not right. like a bad guy. She kills him. What does it was? Did you run? Hey, you get some? I got it. Tell me, oh, it's like this. Oh, <laughs> yo what's up guys uh i'm a sweaty mess because i'm outside playing basketball and it dawns on me that i really need to come make this video because when we're watching this movie when they started speaking japanese for some reason the subtitles just i don't know they didn't pop up on the screen and our patreon let us know that we missed a lot but in typical tarantino fashion i thought we were supposed to just guess what they were saying and interpret it because he does that with a lot of his movies. He just leaves them up for interpretation for the audience. But anyways, we messed up on that, but we did go back and see what all the talking was about. We rewatched it with the subtitles and crazy movie. Go finish the reaction. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. Get your ass out of here. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. He said, oh, what are the Japanese? Do you know? Arigato. Arigato. Good. I already said domo, right? 
やいやいや<笑>こんにちは,にちはあああああこんにちはこんにちはパーフェクトグーグーグー You're gonna be a football player when you grow up <laughs> He's that nutter You say ありがとう Like we say ありがとう <laughs> ありがとうこんにちは He said it with more bass when he said it <laughs> You should learn Japanese Very easy No kidding, I heard it was kind of hard Most of difficult But You have a Japanese tank. I like her Tori okay, shirt. Okay. <laughs> Omachi no sama.、Mm. Oh, oh my. That's what he was doing the whole time? Kora! Making、oh, sushi? You f o r g e t Kora! You think it's gonna be Tarantino? Nope. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's not. Nani no mo. I beg your pardon? Uh, 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 drink. A bottle of warm sake, please? Warm sake? Very good! <laughs> Asuka ipo! マッピルマからえこのアホドアホなんで俺がいつも酒運ばなきゃいけねえんだ<笑> If I was her, I think I'll be <笑>で俺は酒運びこれが軍隊だったらこけたったにあれだ<笑>将軍なら俺は天皇陛下だよ<笑>いいか Do you understand? <笑>ハゲじゃない、剃ってるだけ Do you understand? <笑><笑> I would just have to leave. So, that was so much fun. That was just so like, <laughs> random in this movie. It was perfect. <laughs> it was perfect. in Japan? It happens all the time. It's okay. What brings you to Okinawa? I came to see a man. Uh oh. You have a friend living in Okinawa? Not quite. I never met him. <laughs> Who is he? Hattori Hanzo. Hattori Hanzo? Oh. 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 Maybe that's a forbidden name. He's powerful. ハットリハンゾーに一体何の用ですか日本刀かあいつ用で。おー。おー、おー、まあ、ごめんなさい。一体日本刀何に使うんですか She's like, did I say demo? You must have big rats. You need a ハットリハンゾーズスティール。Huge. Well, who the hell is he? A steel distributor? Distributor? <laughs> distributor? Yeah, baby, we can get your steel real cheap around here. <laughs> I'm a distributor. You can get a half as much as they're selling it down the road at that other place. Oh, oh he makes katanas. So he's like down that, there putting a the front. So the sword in the cover is the one that he's probably going to make her or give to her or whatever、um, the case may be. So he's the sword distributor. Wait, so he's Hattori Hanzo. I'm stupid. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> may I? You may. Is he like drawn to one? Try the second one down. You put a little something special in it.、Mm. Oh, is that hers? The one with the red? Nice. <laughs> that one's sick. I like this music for this. It's like angelic. It's like that one was calling her. Pick me. Ooh. That's some sharp stuff. You like a samurai sword. I like this. Oh. That's a strike, brother. Was that kind of threatening or? It was just testing her. Making sure she was who she said she was. <laughs> What if he said, that was cute, but I'm gonna put this back up? Then give me one of these. These are not for sale. I didn't say sell me. I said give me. Why should I help you? Because my vermin is a former student of yours. Oh. And considering the student, I'd say you have a rather large obligation. Yeah, because he's out there killing innocent people. Look at that big old conch cell. We were looking really hard for one of those before. Yeah, we found a bunch, but they were really small. Yeah, definitely not that sized. Ooh. That was sick. That really was. Yeah. We'll take your pick. <laughs> Damn, this feels like 1980s Japan, don't it? 
I don't know. I, I wasn't born then and I've never been there. Erase the evidence. Have you ever seen that movie, The Karate Kid? No. Man, and okay, so they had music like that in that movie. I thought this was Lion King music. When I was a kid, well, I was in my bedroom, like. <laughs> <laughs> Not I was putting me. that training in, boy. I used to pretend. That's the guy he was arguing with? They have so much more respect for the sword than they do for each other. Mm hmm. This movie's so freaking good, dude. I don't even know what they're saying, but I'm feeling it. I'm like misunderstanding what they're doing. Is he about to kill himself? Or is he just analyzing the sword? I think they're just paying homage to it. To the beauty and the power of it and the history of it. Oh, okay. We're sheathing it. That's, that's great. That's what I want. <laughs> like, the work is done. Ugh, like that. Oh, he had to knight her with it, basically. Oh, I love that. That was so, like... I like the origin well, stories that we're getting here. Quentin Tarantino's a bad man on a camera, ain't he? I'm telling y'all. Chapter, Chapter five. 5. Showdown at House of Blue Leaves. Blue Leaves? I don't know. It was one year after the massacre in El Paso, Texas, that Bill backed his Nippon progeny financially and philosophically in her Shakespearean in magnitude power struggle with the other Yakuza clans over who would rule vice in the city of Tokyo. Mm. It was Oren Ishii and her powerful posse, the Crazy 88, that proved the victor. So she won the turf war, huh? The pretty lady to Oren's right, who's dressed like she's a villain on Star Trek, is Oren's <laughs> lawyer, best friend, and second lieutenant. The young girl in the schoolgirl uniform is Oren's personal bodyguard, 17-year-old Gogo Yubari. She's in high school! Gogo may be young, but what she lacks in age, she makes up for in madness. So I mean, Bill's, she ain't in high school, but she should be. So Bill's like an assassin pimp, basically? Basically, yeah. Jeez. Oh. See what I mean? She's a kakilla. Johnny Mo, the head general of Oren's personal this army. This movie's risen, the Crazy bro. 88. Is he like Batman? And just in case you're wondering, how could a half breed Japanese Chinese American become the boss of all bosses in Tokyo, Japan? I'll tell you. The subject of Oren's blood and nationality came up before the council only once. The man who seems bound and determined to break the mood <laughs> is Boss Tanaka. Hey, keep your mouth shut, and Boss. And what <laughs> Boss Tanaka thinks is... It's BS. Tanaka-san, <laughs> He said, you ain't worth a damn and you shouldn't be my boss. <laughs> now we all shouldn't agree. It's getting hot in here. Nice throw. I would inhale that plate of sushi right now. Oh. Dang! Okay, she's for real. <laughs> so basically, you better keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't be pouting at her table. <laughs> nope. Hers is sick. She's got pink flowers on it. I love it. As your leader, I encourage you from time to time to question my logic. Yeah, go ahead, Varys. No subject we will ever be taboo. taboo. <laughs> Except, of course, the subject that was just under discussion. Her being a woman? <laughs> yeah. The price you pay for bringing up either my Chinese or American heritage as a negative oh. is, I collect your fucking head. Fuck <laughs> you, <laughs> Got anything else to say? 
die! Now the f time! Translate it, translate it. <laughs> One ticket to Tokyo, please. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry about censoring some of this, but Jesus, boy, we taking heads over here. Yep. We're having fountains of blood. If you question her heritage, goodbye. That. This is an old movie because they didn't collect her sword at the gate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They said, go on, take it. This music is going crazy. You think when Tarantino needs music, he'd just be scrolling through SoundCloud? <laughs> or <laughs> trying to find something? Or what do we use epidemic sounds? Yeah. But he has a way higher budget on that. He can get the premiums. That's $17.99 a month. <laughs> She's like a cool assassin, though. God, there she goes. She's a motorcyclist. That's her? That's the one that's on the front. That uniform? Her in that suit? Yeah. Oh, she must know that was her. Oh, wow. She enjoys the game. If I saw like a bumblebee looking person coming near me, I would do it too, though. I would think it was a damn transformer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, this ain't the same song I thought it was. <laughs> oh, the socks with the flippers. Yes, it is. This movie's going crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. How have we never seen this movie before? I know, how have I? I mean, like, I've heard people say it's good, but why have I not watched it? I don't know. Like, I don't even think I've ever really heard of it, though. I remember someone telling me a lot of blood was in it, and I just immediately said, mm, Oh, nah. yeah, you're not going to watch that. This is like cyberpunk. I wonder if I could ask Quentin Tarantino what is his favorite movie up to this point, what he would say. I think Pulp Fiction was probably the most famous, right? I don't know. Well, I've heard of Pulp Fiction my whole life because I've seen the cover. But maybe I just remember the cover because it was edgy. Because mm -hmm. the girl's like smoking on it. I like how upright she walks. And that guy looks like that guy. Um, I forgot his name. The Airbender. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He looks like a little ball guy. I don't know. You talking about the Avatar dude? Yeah, yeah, there you go. He does not look like damn Aang, the Avatar. Ain't that his name? Mm -hmm. My son watches that. <laughs> he has a sense. Oh, she's got like a miniature katana. I know. Because she's underage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick, dude. It's like a Japanese rock band. Yeah. Women. That's awesome. This is a woman forward movie. Yeah, it is. I like it. And they don't feel the need to talk about how they're women the whole time. Right. <laughs> I just did, though. <laughs> no, but it's a good movie. <laughs> They're dressed oh, like cool. a 50s man. I think it's cool how they're not wearing shoes. Yeah. <laughs> they're a good time. Do you know how like when you walk into a Japanese house, you gotta take your shoes yeah. off and stuff? They're on the stage with their shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> I heard this before. Yeah, this is it's like you, Yahoo. Yahoo. Oh, look at this shot right here. Whoa, someone, wow. someone was walking on ceilings. I wonder how many times it takes to get something like that done. I didn't know Japanese people would be yelling at each other this much. I know. <laughs> or maybe it just looks like they're yelling, but that they're actually they're just, just talking. Yeah. Right. Like, what if it was like a heavy metal band, but we were just misinterpreting it? Yeah. They were just singing pop music. <laughs> <laughs> The lyrics of this, though, I can memorize these ones. They're doing like the twist or something. Yeah. Isn't that an American dance? Oh, wow. 
Wow. That was insane. That's the same ringtone. Change it, Jesus. <laughs> Maybe that means a certain person's calling. Well, that and you had to buy those ringtones. They're yep. like five dollars or something. You had to keep it. Yeah, it's worth it for four years. <laughs> that one was probably free. <laughs> Charlie Brown. <laughs> Did he call? He called him Charlie Brown. I was wondering why he was dressed like that. But I didn't want to sound stupid. Like Charlie Brown. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh man. She said, I got you, girl. Show mm -hmm. your face. <laughs> She's like, I thought we killed you. No, my hair was different then. Right. Yeah, y'all gotta go. Y'all yeah, better clear out. Especially when you got a sword. You're a victim. You better get sliced. Oh, did you see the bottom of her foot? Did you see that? Let me show you. <laughs> All right. Where did she <laughs> buy those shoes at? Oh, oh, those were custom made. That's what's up. At the FU store. Oh, that's cool floor, though. It has, like, rocks down there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> He's definitely dressed like Charlie Brown. He knew exactly who she was talking about. <laughs> oh. oh, she got that vibranium. Every time you see a still sword, you got vibranium. Okay, she got that animanium. <laughs> Whoa. Triple kill. Well, I thought like they have less odds. Is that the young girl? Is it? The bodyguard or whatever? I thought she had a little knife. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't think that's her. Dude. Some of that's like, you hear that? Boss fight. So, Oren, any more subordinates for me to kill? Hi. That's her. What the <laughs> heck? I feel like a sword's whooping that. Go, go. I know you feel you must protect your mistress, but I beg you, walk away. Man, you just gotta walk away. Let's get the get the step. <laughs> that thing's on Mario. <laughs> the Isn't ball it? and chain thing, the damn chunk yeah. of whatever it's called. He can fight for a youngster. She's like, get over here. <laughs> Mortal Kombat, do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you really? A little bit. <laughs> That's the ball of destruction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Line drive. Whoa! Right up the middle. <gasps> no way. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa. No. These fight scenes are some of the craziest we've ever seen. So I know. Unique. And the ones we see, you can just back what back, blah, blah, back flip your way out of anything. <laughs> yeah, Matt Murdock. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my toe felt the other day. I did that to someone before. Stabbed him in the toe? Yeah. Her shoes are cool, though. Yeah. 
Aw. I know. She's so classy, isn't she? She has, like, flowers on everything. No, that's that girl's. Remember? The one that just died? You know, from that angle, I didn't realize that Katana was so short. Is that what I think it is? You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? For a second there? Yeah. I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. That's weird because the Kaboom cereal kind of like tricks. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're sponsored. When this happens in movies, I'm like, dude, the way you get out of this better be good because you are done right now. Just go in circles constantly with the sword out. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? They can't come near you. <laughs> Pretend you're a tornado. <laughs> 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 That's how I would get out. These are just some NPCs, I feel. Just their stance. Is she really about to fight her way? Oh. oh, heck no. She's fighting her way out of this. Heck yeah. They wouldn't call this Kill Bill if she got called by oh. some default. She pulled it out. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. This is crazy. Are they making it black and white because it's so gory or something? Oh, it's been gory the whole movie to me. <laughs> oh, yeah. That must not be it. I mean, we beheaded a bro. We <laughs> beheaded a bro. It sounds like a company. <laughs> if that was you, she'd be over everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, how much is this lady paying y'all? No, he didn't just scale a wall like that. <laughs> now I'm finding it unbelievable. I'm not. She's slicing people in half with katana swords. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just kidding, obviously. <laughs> Sorry, my social awareness is a little off. <laughs> mm -hmm. She said, time to go drink some tea. I ain't worried about you. Hopefully she uses that miniature katana to kill her. I mean, y'all better stab her. <laughs> Wait, what are they doing? This is insane because she's just been straight fighting for minutes. What I think is insane is how many people's legs she can cut off in that sword is not dual yet. Or the katana, I should say. No, nah, because the right guy made it. Right. It's never going. He cut sushi with it. 25 times sharper than the sharpest sword. <laughs> so it'll stay sharp after 25 kills. How many people has she murdered? About 40. 475. What's that, about 10 left? That was cool. I bet this scene in particular is super famous. The way I shot, you know? Yeah, because it looks so cool. Yeah. They even went to this room to do this, you know? It's cool. Surrender. Just surrender. <laughs> yeah, he's just young. Like that girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> what? She smacked him. <laughs> so she is a soft spot for kids. Well, yeah, because if she doesn't believe in that, then what is she going after them for? Right. I'm telling you what, man. She should be in the Olympics. Whoa, there was that, so much blood in there. Yeah, it turned 
blood shot red. Jesus. <laughs> She's the best assassin maybe ever. Right. She has to be. Nick Fury's probably in that room over there, like. Yeah, looking to recruit. Mm hmm. Oh, there's a miniature one right there. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Except you, Sophie. <laughs> Sophie's you like, what? Stay right where you are. But you already cut my arm off. Man, girl, you better get the hell out of that room. Here it goes. Well, she's there. No way. There's got to be a door outside, right? I'm so used to watching things that that's a portal, you know? What the hell you're watching? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't watching that. You got another channel I don't know about. <laughs> Your instrument is quite impressive. Okinawa. This is Hattori Hanzo steel. Add that to your reference list next time a sword yep. pops up. Yep. Hattori Hanzo. <laughs> That's a Hattori Hanzo blade. Katana Hatsukara Shiraz. Denakya. Go from Tomigo Madanayo. What's that thing called, baby? She's wearing a kimono. That thing is awesome. It's solid white. I'm I'm scared to call it a kimono because remember I told you what Mercedes said. Mm -hmm. You got it wrong and she re she revoked your Asian card. Yeah. Is that a pre-fight like thing or a surrender? Oh. I think this is her entrance walk. <laughs> <laughs> Is that J Lo? <laughs> you know, people are always like. <laughs> Mike Barry. <laughs> Is this freaking J Lo? <laughs> Inside joke, guys. I don't want either of y'all to die. I like y'all both. Yeah, because she told Bill the kid was hers, didn't she? So you're caught up with Bill in some type of way too, so I don't know how much I'm supposed to be rooting for you now. But I'm I like only it. rooting for her because she's Lucy Liu. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm ready to see this. This scene's about to be cold. Cold as the snow. Ooh. No, Ooh, she's leaking. No, but we know the outcome of this, Ooh, so no, some it's spinal not real. Fluid coming it's out. not real. <laughs> Maybe she's playing possum. Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. <laughs> you may not be able to fight like a samurai, but you can at least die like a samurai. She just killed like six hundred people, and you're gonna say she? Yeah, but that's the boss, though. She's the ultimate boss. Maybe I'm she's tired. Maybe she's a little tired. <laughs> Man. No way. Is she in the upper hand now? Where did she cut her? That's so cool. Oh, the kneecap. So cute. It looks just like the cartoon. This garden right here, or whatever you want to call it, is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. It sounds so cool when it snows heavy. It's so silent. She can hear it. And that water thing's like, dong, dong. the minute timer, maybe. Ikuyo. I'm going to have to rewatch this movie with a damn Japanese person because <laughs> I need to know what they're saying. Mm. Oh. <gasps> Was that her head? That was her head. Or her hair. What? Yeah, when you cut a head off, man, it don't die instantly. Oh. Ugh. Maybe that's where she got shot. She hit her with that crop top, huh? Because you know how she survived? Maybe that's where she had got shot. Because nah. how else could you survive a bullet to the head? R.I.P. Luce. Dang, that was really hard for her to kill just that one. The second one seemed a lot easier. Yeah. Well, she got better. How 
many names are left? Four there people. Before, yeah. Or five. She got her in the trunk. So why don't you hop on in the trunk? <laughs> we gotta go take a ride. And they open the trunk. You scare them. Hey, have, has every movie we've seen been trunk related? Someone... Every, yeah, Tarantino's a, He has like a gangster fantasy or something. Get your butt in that trunk. Oh. How's she still rolling? Wait, another one. <laughs> They've been rolling in all day. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Yellow Queen. <laughs> right. Sophie. My Sophie. Maybe what they're going to do to her is worse. You think this is Bill right here? Please. It, you can't see his face? Give my betrayal. No more of that. Mm-hmm. But still. I've kept you alive for two reasons. First reason is information. This the salope blonde. Man, this is the part where you listen. But I am going to ask you questions. And every time you don't give me answers, I'm going to cut something off. You better be missing at least a couple fingers. Mm -hmm. They will be things you will miss. I want all the information on the deadly vipers. If you had to guess. What they've been doing. Why she left you alive. And where I can find them. What would be your guess? She said I could keep my wicked life for two reasons. So you can tell him in person everything that happened here tonight. That's like Tyrion. I want him to know what I know. They'll all soon be as dead as a red. Such damning evidence. <laughs> Deathless five. The stewardess is probably like, silly girl. That woman. Deserves her revenge. Yeah, you next, brother. Bud with two D's. And we deserve to die. She must suffer to her last breath. <laughs> Number five's got to be Bill, right? Yes. Let's in go. all caps. All caps, baby. Well, they've all been in all caps, baby. Oh. <laughs> You're just excited. I feel you. One more thing, Sophie. Is she aware her daughter is still alive? What? Oh, what a cliffhanger. This movie was a straight banger, guys. Yeah. Holy crap. You know, sometimes it's just so hard to put your finger on what makes something so good, but I think I think a lot of what it was that made this movie just, you know, it could have been great, but I think what made it iconic, man, was honestly involving so much Japanese culture. They yeah. could have used guns. They could have made it gangster style. They could have made it, you know, Pulp Fiction, but they didn't. They made it about swords and stuff yeah, which was man, unique like, to all his other movies because they're all about guns that was out of left field from yeah. tarantino but Guys, very good that was another project from tarantino that is just if i was him i'd be pretty impressed with my lineup so far. the timeline choices like, on that one were fantastic like the fact that you show you started out like fighting the number two lady yeah but you've already killed number one so she showed the list and then you have to like go back and like discover her origin story through the yes, kill that was dude. cool that was very cool i mean he always does this thing with his timelines man so uh amazing amazing movie uh the only thing that i'm really left with which we'll probably get to in the second movie was what was the purpose why did they do all that i think they i, I maybe she like left the life or something or i genuinely to. think maybe they were either that or they were trying to take the daughter because maybe it was bill's daughter and he's yeah, trying to maybe. like take her for something maybe he wants her to run the ring or something hopefully we figure that out man but even if we don't even if we never figure out exactly why i think that would be cool too but that would know? be a whole other thing that tarantino does where there's no questions answered you know well he yeah because yeah. he does that he yeah, did that with the box saying. in pulp fiction like no one still knows right and then he did it also in the last movie we didn't know if he ever went oh jackie brown jackie brown yeah. or what happened with that so uh, I love how Tarantino allows you to interpret things your own way and use your own imagination. In his Based movies. off what you saw, yeah. Right. One thing I will say, I said in the beginning of the movie, I would appreciate this movie more for like what Tarantino goes for, you know, because I've been very thrown off by his movies. And I, I think a mission accomplished. I yeah. think I did. I think I really liked it. Uh, everything that happened was just, I could just really see Quentin Tarantino in it. Yeah. And I think that's the biggest takeaway because we haven't really dove into our director yet. Like we've been like, oh, let's check out some Adam Sandler. Let's check out some really just Quentin Tarantino. Really, like I think new. we've seen like some Wes Craven. We've seen like a few well, James Bond. One franchise, Vaughn. one franchise. Yeah, because the Nightmare on Elm Street movie was just so old compared to the Scream movies that they were just so different. Right. But it's nice to see him grow, and I guess this is the first time we've really dove into a director and 
watch like the evolution of him right so, which uh, i'm maybe we should approach enjoying. movies that way i kind of am liking this yeah i kind of like that it's kind of cool to stick with the director because well, there's a lot of movies that a director has that we probably don't have no business watching or we want to watch right, 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 but tarantino right. puts out bangers so right he does and yeah. and i think of out of all the ones we've watched so far this one's definitely my favorite you think so? Yeah. You know, I really like Jackie Brown and I really like Reservoir Dogs. I like Pulp Fiction too a lot, but this one was my favorite out of all of them. I I think I like Jackie Brown the most, only because there was so much to the story. Like Reservoir Dogs was really awesome and it was a really good movie, but it was like kind of like a, a a a song that's very simple and repetitive, but it's just such a perfect little tune. That's kind of how that was. But Jackie Brown was a lot more complex in a way. Yeah. You know, and Pulp Fiction was just. I'll have to rewatch it. Out of left field. Pulp, Pulp Fiction was like, I was so unexpected in that movie. Everything that All happened. All I'm saying is, we ain't been to the pawn shop. Uh, yeah, we're time. never going to the pawn shop. Never. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this movie was just good, man. Is it my favorite? Probably. It's between this one and Jackie Brown for yeah, sure. But I, I, I like this one. one. This, this one was crazy. This one was just a good story. I think the lady, Uma Thurman, mm -hmm. she did a fantastic job in this one. Just like they by, all did. By not saying a whole lot, she mm -hmm. gave a lot to her her she's the bride or whatever and i like how that's the thing he does he bleeped out her name yeah so he wants us to just sit here and guess this lady's name he never told us she was jane doe she was the bride but well, we did get a name for her but it wasn't the real one right which, which so in my mind i didn't even <laughs> remember it maybe that's just something we're gonna have to guess is her name forever what, what do you think fill in the blank i think her name's uma thurman uma thurman <laughs> Dang, i don't know don't make me guess. I'd call her Brooke. <laughs> I guess because she she out there taking heads, boy. So she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's Brooke to me. Um, don't make her mad. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> really good movie. Really good movie. I think. So what was your favorite part of the movie? I guess because there was lots of different revenge plots. But which one did you think was better executed? The one mm. in the beginning or the one in the second? Because they were so different. But it's like, dang. I don't know. I don't. The question's really tough for me to answer, but mm -hmm. I can tell you what my favorite like part was. What's your favorite part? Okay, the beginning when they. Well, I like when they showed like the wedding and it was like everyone was dead. Yeah, that was just in, insane to me. It's, that was a cold open. Yeah, I've it was never crazy. Seen one. Yeah, I think the coolest part. I don't know. Well, yeah, because I even stopped the movie on that part. There's a couple parts in the movie where I definitely just had to stop it, man. But the part where she is in the in the pussy wagon sorry to say it <laughs> but she's sitting there and then her toes ain't working and she starts talking to her big toe oh yeah and she goes on that whole damn rant and she goes on it for so long that i genuinely forgot where she was right because you know? it was a cartoon story so yes. not only did we just snap back to reality yeah, we had to like, switch literally. completely right yeah uh, yeah so that part was just like sometimes it, that part was just like like come on terrence you know you're like you're killing us right now yeah but that was good the part was good man um yeah i love the inclusion of like anime and stuff right it's really sick that's something that you know we're completely new to the game of anime we know nothing about it so in a sense that was our first anime on the channel yeah unless anime is short for anime and who would have ever that guessed that kill bill would have had it in there not me yeah let me know man is kill bill something that is as popular as pulp fiction because i've seen the cover of that movie a lot but i've seen it but I've i'm seen telling y'all genuinely this. i didn't think twice about it. i heard it was bloody one time and i was like so she's a bloody street racer i don't care about it well like i said man we used to go to like the movie stores when we was a kid but when yeah. i went to the movie stores as a kid i wasn't getting kill bill bro. but that one was it. always sold out always oh was it yeah because i remember my dad wanted to watch it one time oh, and my yeah. dad could never get it he would go like two i remember he went on friday like three weeks in a row and it was damn he must have really wanted to watch this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well he really liked pulp fiction what i don't know what, yeah. uh, what does that tell you <laughs> i don't know i don't know what that tells me uh i don't know how they went out of business with them rhymes out there i know right um yeah man because we used to go to those movie stores a lot like you know because we're older we're in our early 30s so we used to have like Blockbuster and right. then we'd have like uh, the Movie Depot and all them places. And then you'd go to Ingles back in the day, guys. And two things about Ingles for the people like that are younger in our audience. We used to have a movie section. So we'd have like a whole damn movie store in Ingles. And the magazine sections were really something back in the day. There yeah. used to be like chairs and lobbies. And you okay, no, there. maybe not where I'm from, but where you're from. That oh, was yeah, well, where you're from is uh, busted. <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> yeah if you're from where she's from the whole state i definitely ain't talking about you i'm just talking about her oh. <laughs> so uh, don't unsubscribe from my videos please i appreciate all you south carolinians out there anyways south carolinians anyways uh it don't matter because y'all are busted <laughs> 
and I'm a Georgian, so uh, <laughs> really, really good movie, man. I think that the first part where they're fighting in the house and the little girl pulls up on the bus, that part was gangster. It was yeah. gangster because when she walked in the room, both the moms put their swords up because they was like, you know, or they put their knives up because they're like, yeah. you know what, we'll just wait. The babies don't need to see this. Right. But it, you know, she had to try to take her out. I'm, I don't know who she is. I guess the lady, the the lady we're rooting for, she had to try to take her out. I mean, they killed her kid, so she thought. Yeah, but I'm saying when she shot her with the cereal box, I mean, some people might call that, you know, kind of snaky, but I thought it was clean. I thought it was a good try. You know, she <laughs> missed bad, but you got to try. I love how the cereal is called Kaboom. Like, yeah, she said Kaboom. <laughs> Explosive. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, man. that was And then cool. uh, she goes on and she finds the guy. I don't remember his name because obviously, like, you know, I'm just very uh, white and finding uh, names. What, Hani Hatoro? Yeah, those names aren't really the easiest for Hans me, you know Hatori or something like that. I feel like you're just uh, able to pronounce them naturally a little better than me. But anyways, with that being said, uh, them guys were really cool, man. They made a really cool sword. And yeah, man, they made her just the, basically the sword that she needed that was going to take her to the end goal and execute revenge, ultimately, which is what she did because she took a lot of heads. So. Well, she has 2D Bud left and Bill, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So... No, no, no. She had three more, three yeah, more, yeah. Uh, and the Aemon Targaryen, two D Bud, Aemon Targaryen, and then uh, Bill. Yeah, right. And I'm expecting Bill to be wild, baby. Bill's wild gonna be the end game. Bill. What if? What if it's just like you don't see his head the whole time, and all you do is see him fighting, like with just like his arms, and then it's just close ups of his chest, and you yeah. see his arms, like whoosh, whoosh. you see him going like. Whoosh. With the right. ring, who knows? That's yeah. the thing about Tarantino. What if we man? never he, get to see what he looked like? I just like how he like he reminds me of a YouTuber. It's almost like he was a YouTuber before his time because like in YouTube videos, you can take a lot of like risk and make them really odd sometimes because you can always just make another YouTube video. Movies tend to like follow the same formula and not take a lot of risk because there's like multi million dollar contracts and stuff involved, you know. And uh, it's just nice to see something so refreshing. I guess you know it, re unique, it really is unique. unique. Yeah. yeah, and he. He doesn't take like a regular path as most people. He's he'll cuss, he'll show blood, he'll add some anime into it. He's a unique guy. I don't guy. even. I mean, that's not even. I, I get what you're saying, but even you're struggling to put it into words. What makes him so unique? Because that yeah. doesn't even really justify it. But you get what I'm yeah. saying. Just his timeline. Uh, yeah. yeah. And honestly, some are just like the camera shots, like the the like aerial view of a lot of the stuff it showed in this one. I really yeah. love that because it's like. You could like you're like looking in the roof, but it's like a glass roof or something. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. He uses a lot of imagery in terms of like where he chooses to shoot the angles from and stuff. And I love the like long played out shots, like you were saying. I think those are just, really they're good. like one shot are they called one shots? Yeah. Where like it's just one like one scene and you just play out the whole And like I said, man, I think the best thing about Tarantino to me though is just how he really lets you hang out with these characters yeah. and get involved in them. You know? I like that too. Yeah, and I think that's what made Lord of the Rings the best movie ever made mm -hmm. in so many people's minds, probably, is because it had such a good story that spoke so much to human nature. You know, and yeah. you could really say the same thing about this, even though it shows like a moral. Like, it's like different. It's like actually right. like a so in Lord of the Rings, it was more of like a a good feeling human nature like mm -hmm. good y'all are at a birthday party it's so wholesome but in this, this is one showing the dark side yeah you're yeah. at a bar you're sitting there chatting right. with the sushi chef well, in they're Lord arguing the Rings, <laughs> you hung out with the characters so much in that and yeah I think, yeah yeah and i think that you know modern day movies and i'm not saying like tarantino is just a genius who's the first one to ever think that hanging out with someone makes you invested in them but i'm just saying like the way that maybe he took the risk to do it. Right. Maybe. But you're and, invested and in know. them in a raw way. You're not invested in them because you've seen them do something wholesome and mighty in their past. You've seen them just chill with this guy and they were cool. So. And, you know, another thing is I keep like uh, praising Tarantino like he's something different. But the reality is, I don't know. I mean, he could be different or maybe he just has really good movies and he's not really that unique. Maybe other people was using these same type of you know tricks and stuff but we, we just don't really them, know right? yeah we just don't know so <laughs> we haven't seen them so this we is basically know. our new journey to, to get seasoned with like cultural references when it comes to like cinema and stuff because man bro like i ain't even gonna lie to you guys man a lot of that junk goes over my head but for the last year or so we've been making these youtube videos and we have caught some stuff boy like right. one time a dude told me that i needed me some vibranium glasses <laughs> and guess what she knew what we were talking about <laughs> and it was great do, do you think about tarantino's movies though while we're on the, like his just like i guess what he's like do you think that they kind of what i've noticed about like pulp fiction is it's kind of like a 94 movie like it acts like a 94 movie and then this one was like early 2000s you could feel it so it's like he kind of captures like what do you call it the, the poltergeist 
No, not the poltergeist. The like, the Zimma Bimma. Like the Zeitgeist. Store? Yeah. Ain't that the word? Like it's. What? Is that the word? The when you guys? capture the culture in a bottle? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just like an overall summer, Yeah, like, he kind of, like, I can kind of see in his movies, just like, like when he, maybe not, because that cell phone looked a little outdated in 2003, didn't it? Man, I don't even know. <laughs> my mind wasn't on that. I don't even know. Well, anyways, I just, I like how he does that, because like the cars, the, I don't know, you can just kind of feel where you're at. These movies are definitely out there, man. They're <laughs> definitely out there. And I think that. He's, you know, taking a lot of risk in them and it's paying off for him, obviously. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, man. This movie was an absolute banger. Like, I don't even know what a to treat. say. But we have Kill Bill Volume 2 coming soon. And we're not going to make you guys wait on that long. Is that the next one we're yeah. watching? Okay, because I didn't know if it was going to be like blah, 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 Kill Bill, and then another project, and then Kill Bill 2. This isn't Marvel here. Right. So we're going to jump straight into Kill Bill. I was going to say we're going to jump into it regardless of if there's a movie between. But yeah. maybe, like, maybe we wouldn't do that. That's right. what you guys told us not to do, because maybe there's a reason. Well, Anyways, we're watching man. them in the order of his, and that was his fourth ones. Are moving on to right. the fifth one. I feel like they're getting better. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah, I really do. I feel like that's this was definitely his best movie. I feel like. I wonder if he it's has. Hard to say, I wonder if he has like a core group that works with him. Like I know Uma Thurman's one of them, but like I wonder if like the filming he has like certain people that have. Just oh, I'm been sure there. because he's you know like if he started out not really the best or something i could see changing your team up but i mean he came out swinging so right. why would you change anything definitely work off that core right. he's got something special for sure i'm just excited to see what a modern day quentin tarantino film looks like and i'm you sure know? we're getting into but i'm them. scared to see what a modern day right. Tarantino film was like because i really like tarantino and i don't want him to feel different i guess like one of the reasons i really enjoy his movies is because they're a history lesson to me because mm -hmm. you know i don't really remember those times so right. much you know and the memories I do have are just, you can't even trust them because human memory is very valuable. So yeah, yeah, man, uh, just a great movie. I'm excited to see the future and what this man's got in store for us. And for honestly, sure. man, I ain't been bored watching Tarantino yet. So not at all. I look forward to watching Tarantino. Yeah, me too. I really do. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. A uh, like, comment, subscribe. Sorry, I have to censor the video and I'm sorry. I repeat myself and you know, these movies a lot, but we didn't censor her name, by the way, they did. Yeah, we didn't do that. Us for all our we didn't do that. Viewers. But yeah, we just don't want YouTube to trip on us and start, you know, sending me letters and all that good stuff and try to beat me in the streets and all that. So uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, by the way, YouTube, I was just joking about the beat me in the streets. Dog, don't, you know. All right. Bye. Love ya. <laughs>